All right, welcome back to a, another video on the Mobility Scooter Go-Kart. Um, in the last video, I took the batteries out and charged them up, and I was expecting to put the batteries in and give this thing a run in a video of showing you how it goes. Um, it's not working. So, I've got power. That's the, that's the switch I've used for, for the lights. So the lights are on. But, get absolutely nothing on the uh, throttle resistor, uh, uh, variable pop. So you get nothing forwards, nothing backwards, which is a bit strange. Uh, gearbox is open on it, so the, you should hear the electronic brake click off and then the motor whir. Um, but it's not doing that so I'm gonna go through and have a look over it and try and figure out why so this is just gonna be a bit of a, a fault finding video and I'm also thinking about taking this apart and showing you how the speed controller works and I think we might have a look and see if we can bypass it and make it maybe a little bit more um, a little bit faster so right I'm gonna do a bit of diagnosing and uh, be back in a second Okay, so I'm a little bit further into this. After messing around, checking all the electrics, I was getting voltage down to the throttle pedal. Um, it was changing voltage, so the speed controller should have been seeing a change in voltage. Checked all the wiring all the way up, checked everything back here, couldn't see the problem. So I right, decided to, to open up the speed controller and there's moisture and water inside. I don't know if you can see that all over the relay just there. So this is our inside our speed controller. A lot of corrosion. The moisture has got in somehow. Um, but let's just have a look at the components here. So we have an internal fuse. Yeah, this is just your standard type blade fuse. It's blue, so I believe that's a 20 amp fuse. This is my part number. Um, you've got the relay here. This is the relay for the um, brake on the motor. Got two big capacitors. I'm guessing those are like shunting capacitors to stop you from getting a big old bump to um, get the thing to go. Then, as I said in a previous video, I had some little pots that I could turn up to actually increase or decrease my speed. And you see just here on the bottom of my circuit board, one there, that is for reverse and forward. So it's a bit strange that they actually have a control on the board. Um, turn this over. There's your switching MOSFETs, and they are what actually shunts the the motor. To I'm guessing half of this will be for forwards and half will be for reverse. You'd have I'm guessing four for forwards and four for reverse. So that's your switching MOSFETs that will be uh, powering out to the motor. You have some a lot of microprocessors. There's another MOSFET down there for switching. So yeah, everything on the top of the board. There's not really a lot to it. It's just everything on the bottom of the board. And unfortunately, this board has got wet. See, you can see the moisture down there. So I'm going to give this a clean. Uh, clean all this up and we're going to put this back together and see if just cleaning all the crap off it makes it work but I've also had a look around on this board and I can't see any obvious signs of being able to modify this I was looking for like a shunt um, and a ampage shunt or something that was going to be reducing the output ampage but I can't see anything on here 
can't see any bars running across. Oh, and there's another small pot there, I'm not too sure what that one was for. So yeah, right, I'm going to clean this up and we'll see if we get any further with it. Okay, well we've been cleaning up the main board. Managed to get a lot of the corrosion off that, off the plate. Look at this. This is the next job. Clean up the casing for the speed controller. So, next job. Give this a clean. A few moments later. And uh, it's a hell of a lot better. I've also sprayed it with a bit of uh, WD uh, 3 in 1 just to help any further corrosion and any other water ingress. So, I guess let's see what happens now that we've cleaned all the moisture off. So, disconnected the batteries because I was not going to be working on a speed controller with them. Plugged in, so let's just this is the main 24 volt one that goes back to the the actual speed controller. That's one and Two. trying to do this one hand is not easy okay so the on off switch is just like that okay that made a noise doing something I'm not sure where the sound's coming from Don't know if you can hear that. That is the motor spinning. And that's reverse. And that's the click on for the the brake. Fantastic. So if we pull it out of gear. Don't know if I really want to do too much with this all just hanging out, but yep. Okay, well, something's just died. We've still got power there, We've still got lights. Hmm died again put that into neutral hmm okay keep filling about and see if we can figure out what's going on okay I'm stumped um, I can't quite figure out why this won't go. Tested it down the board, I'm getting the voltage and switch um, sense from the throttle pedal into the plug here. Then we're trying to trace around the board where this plug goes. It all goes off in different directions. As you can see, this is quite an intelligent speed controller it's got a lot to it um, so trying to follow traces around the board and find where they go 
it's a bit difficult <coughs> so yeah I think for this evening I'm gonna give up on this now because it is quarter to twelve I'm gonna put it back together and probably pull it out again tomorrow but thanks for watching if you watch this far that's the two pots that you need to adjust if you have the same speed controller to make sure you're getting maximum speed one's forwards uh, that one there is forwards because it's on max that one there is on reverse if you put reverse in max it is quite quick going backwards so I've left that halfway but that is full speed so that's how to turn the speed up like I say I can't remember what this one here was for I don't think it made any difference so I left that one alone but yeah that's how the speed controller looks on my mobility scooter I have actually got two kids electric scooters down the garden with speed controllers in and I'm gonna take those apart and see if I can modify them um, the scooters I mean and make them a bit quicker I've also been watching some videos how to modify the speed controller on the razor to get more power out of that so I should be doing a video on that as well so that's it for tonight for the mobility scooter go-kart um, I'll be back on this one in the next couple of days and see if we can get it to actually start going thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next one